Hi guys, welcome back. This is Matt Shett, episode 502, featuring a look at a game called The Siege of Shadowdale by one Luke Skull. Uh, now what this what this game is, it originally was a originally <laughs> was a, a module uh, for Neverwinter Nights. I think it was actually supposed to be part of the premium uh, content at some point. Uh, but anyway, that was back in 2002. It ended up on Neverwinter Vaults, got on the Hall of Fame, Considered one of the best mods ever uh, for Neverwinter Nights. Uh, more recently, it was re-released, repackaged for the Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition on Steam and Gun, of course, by our friends at Beamdog, and they've made it part of their curated content. So if you have Neverwinter Nights, uh, you just open it up, click on a few tabs, uh, download the game, and you're good to go. Uh, anyway, I had a lot of fun with this. I think it's uh, definitely worth checking out. You can't argue with free, although I will say, go ahead and say now that the author, Luke, is accepting uh, donations via Patreon, uh, so I'll make sure to put links to that. Uh, plus, I believe he's also writing a novel, so you might want to check that out as well. Anyway, we've got a lot to cover here, so without further ado, here is Siege of Shadowdale. All right, folks, let's dive into this. Uh, before I get into the game itself, I want to talk a little bit about the, what, what this thing is, how did it come to be, the history of it. It's actually not a new game. It is new. Uh, it's newly. It's new to the created community content uh, world, uh, which basically means if you have this on GOG or Steam, never want a nice enhanced edition, uh, you'll be able to download this and install it all from within the game. Uh, you won't have to go to any other other sites or anything and, and, and deal with logins or any anything like that. It's very easy to get to get up and running. It's officially supported, I suppose. Uh, but what this is, it's a module that came out back in 2002, or at least that's when it was released here to the Neverwinter Vault. It's basically your go-to place for mods and add-ons and things. A user or community created content, whatever the word for that is. Uh, it requires uh, both the expansions. Uh, Shadows of Undertide. What is H O T U? I'm liking all that. That one stands. Hordes of the Underdark. <laughs> Jeez, my memory's not what it never was, folks. Uh, but anyway, Luke Skull came out with this uh, 2002, 20 something years ago. It was supposed to be a premium module, apparently, since it was canceled. Uh, but it's absolutely top quality. And it was recognized as such here on Neverwinter Vaults. It was uh, got to be on the Hall of Fame, one of the best. Uh, what best regarded mods of all time for Neverwinter Nights. Uh, so it really uh, is good. I'm really happy to see this uh, being released, being supported by Bean Dog as part of this uh, enhanced edition. Really, really happy about that. Uh, plus, I just kind of wanted an excuse to get back into Neverwinter Nights and, and see what this is all about. You know, I do say right off the top, I, I like it just because of the artwork. You know, I, I was thinking about this earlier that there seems to, there's almost like a degeneration, a devolution if you will, about artwork <laughs> in uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, computer role playing games. I mean, you know, this is, look at that cover. I mean, doesn't that, I mean, look at this, uh, this painting here. That's like top quality artwork that would look great on somebody's wall. You know, it makes me curious. You know, it looks like an interesting character. I love the beard, look like the, <laughs> the staff. You know, it's, it's intriguing, right? It, it looks like fantasy. So you kind of imagine when you think about a good fantasy novel. You know, I could actually see that working on a novel or even a, a movie. And, and it was the same thing when I was growing up with the box art of these games. You know, you start off with like Pool of Radiance and here's Curse of the Azure Bonds, Clyde Caldwell. He's, you know, this was not, this was the artist that was doing the official, a lot of the official artwork for the Dungeons and Dragons. He's in addition to other kinds of a, a fantasy, but, you know, really good, you know, quality artwork. Again, if you look at this one, <laughs> I don't know where your eye is drawn necessarily, but you know it, it. It makes you curious. Like, what is this about? What's going on here? What What is this mysterious looking tower in the background and all that? Uh, then we get to the Baldur's Gate era, and it's just just humor me for a minute. <laughs> now you see, now we just kind of got a like stone and a. This is a cool looking emblem with the skull and the glowing eyes, you know, and it's a really awesome font and everything. But you know, it doesn't. To me, it seemed like a step backwards or almost. It's it's not quite as uh, appealing. It looks cool, but it's, again, not the same sort of draw me into the fantasy world art. Um, was, but then it gets even worse. By the time you get to Pearl Neverwinter Nights, <laughs> I mean, all you get is this weird-looking eyeball with something drooping out of it. I, I never liked this. 
it almost made me want to pass on the game. Uh, again, the font is awesome, but what what is this? You know, it doesn't do anything for me. And I don't know if they ever came out with the. Uh, <laughs> can we look at number one or nights two box? Trying to remember what. Yeah, so the same old thing, unimaginative, not creative at all. You know, you kind of wonder if there was ever a third one. It'd probably just be a black box. You know, <laughs> it's just black, none more black. You know, uh, just totally lacking in imagination. So it's it's it's, it's makes me happy to see kind of a return <laughs> uh, to some actually appealing looking artwork for for a game, even though this is a module. So anyway, I hope you'll forgive that little aside. Uh, so if you want to get this game. Uh, let's go ahead and get it get it rolling here. And I'll show you where you can download this. There we go. Beam dog. Beam, beam, beam dog. Oh, I think my speakers are going through the wrong setting, so I'm going to have to adjust that. Let's see if I can make that. Uh, sorry, I have to do the little... Uh, get running again. There we go. Well, she'd be able to hear the music in this game because it's really good too. All right, this is just the standard uh, Neverwinter Nights stuff. You know, if you haven't seen my Neverwinter Nights uh, videos, they're certainly up there. Got a couple ones for some of the different modules too. All right, so all you got to do is click on New, uh, click on uh, Community, and you notice one of the options there is Seed to Shadow Deal. It's just that easy. And I've already got it downloaded. But if I didn't, there would be an option there to, uh, of course, to download it. And let's click on the uh, web link because I want to sort of pimp this guy's Luke Skull's uh, work a little bit. Uh, so you can see, even though this is free, it's a he says a sixty plus hour campaign. So you might want to kick in a little bit uh, to uh, to Luke here to support his efforts. Looks like he's got some. I think he's got a novel coming out. I do want to get him on the show at some point, but. You know, if you, I always just say if you, if you, he's probably got an option to do a one. I hope he's got an option to just do a one-time payment if you'd rather do that. But, but anyway, he is taking tips basically for this work, so I'm going to do it for sure. Uh, but if you download this module, you have a good time with it. You know, do consider supporting him. Maybe he'll do some more great uh, modules. Or at least keep supporting this. One. Uh, anyway, <laughs> new. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Siege of Shadowdale. Let's play. I'm going to be creating a new character. And we've been through all this this sort of thing before, so I'm not going to belabor the character creation process too much, but you know, it's always one of my favorite things. All right, race. I was thinking of doing a dwarf. I do like to play dwarves. They're fun. I like their ale. <laughs> you know, kind of, a, I don't know if I'm more of a halfling or a hobbit or a, a dwarf in real life. You know, it'd probably be one of those. I don't feel very elf-like. Uh, portrait. I probably should have downloaded my own. Could have some custom portraits. I kind of like this one. And for class, what I was thinking of this time, I usually just do uh, one class. You know, I, I don't. I've always kind of resisted the multi-classing, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to experiment this time. I, I was looking at some sites with suggestions for builds, and one of them that they uh, that kind of looked appealing to me was a fighter cleric. Uh, so the idea is you take some, you start off with fighter, you get to level four, and then you switch off to cleric, and then you pick up those uh, magical uh, cleric skills. So it looked, it looked appealing. I was kind of a, I kind of like the idea. I don't really play a lot of clerics uh, in games like this, so it might be kind of uh, fun to experiment with. So I just decided to do that. And uh, alignment, I guess we'll go chaotic good for the cleric. Although I'm always tempted to go with one of these evil ones just because, <laughs> just to make it a little more interesting, but. Uh, let's see. Chaotic Good acts as his conscience directs him with little regard for what others expect. He believes in goodness and right, but has little use for laws and regulations. And doesn't that sound like yours truly? <laughs> I don't care about your laws. Been watching a little too much Deadwood lately, maybe. All right, abilities. Uh, we're going to want strength, obviously, because he's uh, going to be a fighter as well as a cleric. Now, I know you can try to do some things with Dex, but I don't think that's going to be very... Uh, important for us. At least not, not the kind of character I have in mind. Uh, Constitution. The dwarves have a nice racial bonus of a plus two on that, so that's kind of a no-brainer. That's where you get your hit points from. And then we're going to want Wisdom, because we're going to need that for the uh, the cleric spells. And I was kind of 
playing around with these last four points. You know, I could go to 17 with strength or con or, or wisdom, but I'm thinking that might be a good idea to at least try to get rid of some of these penalties, some of these really bad rolls. Uh, Charisma is tempting because I think it is used for turning undead. Does it say that? Does it say that somewhere here? Yeah, it's important for clerics is it affects their ability to turn undead and in, in uh, speaking to others. So even though it might not do much for me combat-wise, uh, it might be good to at least get rid of that penalty. You know, so I don't know. That's just a choice I'm making. You might want to go with put the points in enter decks instead, but we're just going to go with this. Yeah. Uh, and then packages. I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of these packages, if you look at it, there's one option. I'm not going to tell you which one, but I was ir irresistibly drawn to it. I clicked it. Turned out not to be as fun as I thought it would be. Yes, of course, I'm talking about pirate. <laughs> Come on. You put an option like pirate in the game, you expect me not to pick it. But the skill is useless. This this You see in the description, uses two weapons at once. Okay, that's kind of cool, although I usually like to use a shield. But uh, this business with the parry... Now, there's a couple things that Bioware added to the rule set. For whatever reason, it might be interesting to explore why they did that. But the parry skill is just something they cooked up for these games. Uh, another one, I blank. There's a couple other ones at least, or at least one other one. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but uh, it wasn't done very well. Seems to be the consensus. Uh, it's kind of weird. You can't use it with power attack. If, if you want to specialize in parry and make that your thing, you know, that would be a way to go, but it's not something that appeals to me. So even though this is called pirate, I don't see anything particularly pirate about, piratey about it. So I'm just going to just go default. Uh, and then we can customize our character. You know, you know the drill. <laughs> eh, it looks okay. You know, I wish they would update. They should enhance these models a little bit, I Kill think. Them. Attack, I say. Attack, I say. Attack. I think the high strung evangelist might work for us, being a cleric eventually. You are so gonna feel so Unless I can use my genuine southern accent. I was born and bred in Louisiana. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, dwarf chaotic fighter looking good. Yeah. That's good. This guy's not going to be real, not going to be real graceful on his toes, but that's all right. We can heal ourselves. We're going to have plate armor. Shadow Dale. This small farming community in the Dale Lands is famous throughout the realms, for it is the home of some of Faerun's greatest heroes. Despite the presence of Elminster the Sage, Storm Silverhand, and other luminaries. Shadowdale remains under constant threat from the Zentarim and the Drow. Damn Zentarim. These evil organizations will stop at nothing to seize control of the Dale. For you, a novice adventurer, opportunity beckons. You arrive in Shadowdale one hot summer morning, throat dry from your recent travels. Your thoughts turn to the local inn. As they would. do you know? You will soon be swept into events that will decide the very fate of the Dale. Good narration there. Good artwork, too. Kind of reminding me of those uh, classic Macintosh games, like uh, The Dark Castle. Shadowgate, I think, came out on that. <clears throat> Black and white, but it just looks cool. All right, here we are in the uh, Neverwinter Nights engine, and I don't know if you've... You probably are familiar with Neverwinter Nights if you watch this channel, but if you're new to it, <clears throat> I think if you, I think it's safe to say if you, if you can, you know, if you're comfortable playing World of Warcraft, you know, that interface, it's, it's similar enough to that. You can get up and running pretty quick. A few of the mouse buttons are different, but it, it's smooth. It's it's nice. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look at our character. Get the armor on. Like he's got a short sword as his default weapon. You can stack those, save a little bit of room. And you got the church. Got a woodsman outfit we can sell. AC of 12. So I guess that I guess when you go with a default, <clears throat> it doesn't give you any. Well, it's like we got power attack to start with. That's a good skill. 
Shield proficiency. They gave us a weapon focus, a long sword. So that might be a reason to go in there and tweak those packages. Now, I'm okay with the long sword as kind of the kind of the common choice, I suppose, for a fighter class. But you know, you could go in and say I want to do a mace instead. It would uh, you, you just change your weapon focus feet to whatever weapon you intend to use. Uh, one of the things you, you probably know about this, a game like this, though, is you never really know if you're going to be able to find a really good whatever it is, like a katana, sounds cool, you know, ninja weapons, you know, it's awesome. But are you ever going to be able to find one <laughs> that's, you know, a good plus three, plus four on down the road? Uh, you're probably going to be finding lots more long swords and axes and more common weapons like that. Where it's more sort of your traditional fantasy weapons. So it's just something. I usually defer to long sword, uh, default to long sword if I don't know the game, if I don't know what kind of stuff we're going to be finding. Now this is, it's set up like a good old uh, tabletop role-play game. You know, we got, we need to find out, <laughs> we don't really know a whole lot. So we're going to be doing a little, uh, a little fun series of quests to kind of level up and get used to the uh, game world. Sort of subtly introduce us to it. And I like these, uh, this initial set of quests. Uh, they've all got some humor. And they've all got some uh, connections to the bigger story. So we start with a note written in Childish Scrawl. Written in a Childish Scrawl. Will says, a big red tree near the temple grows apples made of blood. I tried to climb it but fell and hurt my knee. Meet me near the well and don't tell Ma or else. Now there is a quest here called Wanted Rat Killer. Think we should skip that one? <laughs> do you know? Do you know me at all, people? Come on! You put a quest like this in here, you think I'm not gonna do it? You think I'm not gonna make a video about the game? Come on! Uh, my basement is infested with vermin. I require an experienced rat killer to venture down there and take care of the problem. Visit me where good. At the trading house for details. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be doing that one. I'm not going to do it first, partly because I want to save it for last. Uh, and second, because I actually got my butt kicked. Uh, we're just level ones. Uh, it's just up to a few rolls of the die whether we'd be able to kill those rats. <laughs> so I want to do a couple of these other quests first, see if we can get to the next level, upgrade our gear a little bit. Because I don't think I could live down the shame and the humiliation of letting those rats kill my character. I mean, it just ain't gonna happen, folks. <laughs> uh, let's see, one of my laborers has recently quit, leaving my barn in quite a state. There are stacks of hay everywhere. Okay, a little chore to do there. That's a nice easy one. Easy XP. Let's see, a small task for a trustworthy sort who wants to earn a silver or two. Chat with me at the bar. Jahel Silver May. Practice of the old skull. <laughs> you think there's any con any uh, connection between the author of this module, Luke Skull, and old skull? And I, I think there's probably a, probably a connection there. Here's another one. Goddamn goblins! They've been plaguing the farms for days. Broke in and stole my wedding ring. So, covers. We'll be doing that one too. And then I think there's one other one here. Uh, I wish for a capable individual to accompany me to Elminster's Tower. You know these characters, by the way, are familiar to you if you've read any of the Forgotten Realms stuff. You played it in the older games. Set in that. Not the, you know, it's, can you really get much better than Forgotten Realms? <laughs> I love this. It's a great campaign setting. You know, to me, it's just, it's just one of the best, maybe the best. You know, I always thought it was a shame that we don't have more games uh, set in Middle Earth. You know, I know there's a few fairly decent ones, but I never thought it had was fully uh, tapped. Or has it been exploited as well, I suppose, as uh, the Forgotten Realms have been? Okay, maybe near the bridge. E. I think we got a journal here somewhere. It's been long enough I don't remember all the uh, hot keys and all, but... Yeah, so it looks like none of those are showing up here, so hopefully you were taking notes. <laughs> you got a bardag. Hell, stranger, I'm Bardag, the old skull stabler and hustler. You caught me on a break. I could see if he's got anything. I think he's just kind of giving you a uh, kind of thefts. I think he's just kind of giving you a little flavor, basically, if you want to if you want to know your way around town. Oh wait, 
let's see. I think if we ask him about, yeah, what's around, I think he will actually update her. Yeah, maps have been updated. So this is kind of cool. I don't know if I just missed this in the original campaign or not, but like if you talk to people and ask them about like where things are, it'll actually update your map for you. So now we can just scroll around and see where everything is. Very handy. You know, I don't know if that's that's something that's just unique to this or an enhanced uh, one of the enhanced features or what, but it's really cool. Okay, we gotta go to the tavern. Listen to that music. Love it. Love it. You know, folks, I have a dream. My dream is to own a tavern like this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Maybe have tables set up for people that want to play role playing games or computers set up so we can play. You know, whatever. Man. Oof. Good music. Okay, uh, welcome to the Old Skull Inn. I am Jahel Silverman, the owner of this establishment. Where can I get you? Yes. Yeah, why is it called the Old Skull? Because of its chalky white color and shape. Oh, well, there's a huge spur of volcanic rock north of the Dale. You guessed it. Is you think we'll be going there at some point in this game? Let's see, looking for work. One of my waitresses, Kella, hasn't shown up for work in over a 10 day. <laughs> Here we go. Now, I don't know what it is about Luke and Tende. Uh, son of a gun uses this word. You know, I guess a week didn't sound good. To... <laughs> You're going to be seeing ten. This is like the word of the video. Ten day, ten day. Since going home early sick. I think it means ten days. Just going out on a limb there. Uh, unfortunately, her absence has coincided with the busy spell. So he's got a employee that's missing. So we need to go to the Horeb, the alchemist, or herbalist, I suppose, get her a uh, get her a remedy. She's feeling poorly. Uh, is there anything else we need to talk about? Oh, drinks. <laughs> of course. <laughs> feeling parched. La this is the this is the part. This is why I want to own a tavern, man. I'd love to be back there doing the like. I want to I want to brew the stuff myself. So. I'm Put fun names to the beer. <laughs> Dragon Breath. I think a Rat Slayer Ale. Just sound, you know, I would order that. You know, it sounds good to me. There's real rat butters. <laughs> okay. Let's see. You got to the right place. You have Dragon's Breath Beer, Shadow Dark Ale, and Bitter Black. Oh, and we also have El Minster's Choice. Tends to be popular with the younger adventurers, though L himself can't stand stuff. <laughs> uh, let's try the dragon breath. Certainly. Enjoy. That's it. Well, let's try the shadow dark. Certainly. Enjoy. Okay. This isn't as much fun as real life drinking. <laughs> Certainly enjoy. Okay. Well, Elmer's just choice. All right. I thought you might say that. <sighs> Is that it? Well, okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. Virtual drinking. At least you don't have to worry about a hangover. Huh? It's a cool looking. Uh... Ooh, that looks neat. Oh, let's go. Oh, there's all the patrons, man. I, I bet Luke wishes he had this many patrons on his Patreon page. <laughs> 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 he's, he's got a lot. I think it was a couple hundred. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can take it to the next level. Oh, is that a waitress? She looks young. See, I'm sorry, my lord. Would you mind ordering at the bar? I'm rushed off my feet. Yeah. Well, these are nasty choices. Stow the whining winch and get me a beer? These are weak. That probably is something a dwarf like me would say, the scallywag. Yes, a drink would be appreciated. Can you hear me? The other waitress, Kella, didn't turn up for work. No, okay. Don't ever hit on the waitress. 
uh, they're just doing the job. They got enough stress. I'm not dealing with a serenade dwarf. Okay, what are we supposed to do? Um, there's the rat guy. Let's see about the, uh, yeah, the healer. I want to do the hay, and then we'll do the healer. That didn't sound right. Jambalai! Jambalai! I can't pass that up. You now, this one thing uh, Luke is good at, man, is coming up with fun names. Jamble the Eye. That's good. Now, I said he's written a novel, and I always said that about half the battle has come up with good names. Hello. And Jamble is definitely good. Jambalon! When the Lord made me, made a jambling man. Does he have any. Yeah, you know, why are you called Jamble the Eye? Why else but my prodigious talent for spotting a bargain? I purchase interesting items from Suzel to Hillsfar. Remember that game? Hillsfar? Crap. <laughs> sell them on a, sell them on at sell them on at a hefty profit. It's a lucrative business if you have the talent for it. Alright, start merchant. So we can sell this stupid woodsman outfit for a whopping one gold. Uh I am tempted to hold on to these items because I've, I seem to recall playing this previously and knowing that we're going to get a ring of appraisal. <laughs> so I might just actually hold off selling stuff yet. But you can uh, get a good sense of like what's going to be available. This is actually pretty good items. A Fade Duster. A Fade Duster. That's a, what kind of name is that for a sword? The weapon bears the mark of the dwarf. Ma oh, it's a dwarven weapon. Oh, I changed my mind. Good dwarven steel. It's a short sword. Oh, we got more than just short swords. We are in the curiosity shop. Probably don't really need to buy anything at this point. Even if I had the gold. But, you know, it's always good. If you note an item that you might want eventually. Remember, you could always... Uh, let's see, that's not right. Where's the journal? You always make a note of it here in the journal. You know, so-and-so has that item and write down the price. Or you could just write it down on a damn piece of paper, you know. <laughs> that is a thing. But they went to all the trouble of coding in that stupid, you know, notes. You know, somebody worked hard on this. Thank you, person who coded this. Notebook, yes. Save me so much time. Save me so much paper. <laughs> but, you know, they put it in the game, so I'm gonna use uh, Hey there. You must have seen my note on the message board. I'm looking for a strong arm to help me clear these bells of hay. That's a very difficult quest. we got to get all this hay moved out. How are we? Oh, it's done. <laughs> Here's a hundred gold for your troubles now. That ain't a good quest. I don't know what it is, man. All I had to do was click a couple buttons. Now we got a hundred gold and a hundred and fifty XP. That's the kind of quest even yours truly can get by. Okay, I think the healer's out here somewhere too, yep. Yeah. Horeb Nimble Fingers. Another good, good name. Nimble Fingers. Just because when they're doing surgery, they're like digging their fries out the arrowhead. Nimble Fingers. <clears throat> I bid you hello. Alright, then the quest one is helpfully colored in green. So we can also get potions. Let's go ahead and do the main thing. Kella! Oh yes, nice girl. I was good friends with her mother. But she already came to see me a few days back. I gave her a potion, which she drank right away. She was looking forward to returning to work. Okay, well, she hasn't been seen in days. Here, take this key to her home. Go and check up on her. She lives in a cottage on the eastern side of town. Ah. Oh. Luke, 
You mean you're gonna let me walk all the way across the screen, Luke? Come on, Luke. Why couldn't she live upstairs? Look, there's an upstairs. Put her upstairs! Okay. Now we're just gonna have to do a little bit of work. Everything can't be as easy as those hay, hay missions. <laughs> Go ahead and take a look at the... Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, I didn't notice this before. So in order to pr produce my potions, I require... Oh, this is why you're finding those herbs. Ah! You learn something new every day. <laughs> all right, so you talk to her. She must have a quest for us. See, all these herbs, rosemary, belladonna, bitterroot. Ooh, mugwort. These are all real. I like to uh, put a little mugwort in my tea every night. It's supposed to give you uh, good dreams. See, all can be... Some people smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I haven't tried that. I, I, I put it in my tea. I think it's made from real mugs. So y'all can be found growing in the local area. Okay. So there's a little quest. That's cool. So it's always good to, uh, you know, go through all the dialogue options. Because that's probably really good XP, and you could be finding those herbs anyway. And you'd be like, what the hell am I, who am I going to do with this bitter root? <laughs> now, now you know. Let's see, to the sinkhole. I don't want to go to a sinkhole right now. Let's go to, all the way across town. Oh, God. Kella's house. And don't you just wish you could click on a map and just have your character... Beam dog! Enhance it! Enhance this... Enhance it! I should, why can't I just click here? Ah. Yeah. Kill a kill a kill a kill a chameleon. Neverwinter nights, siege of Shadowdale. Where the hell is Killer? Killer. Oh, there's a dog. Uh, let's see. I think we can. No, talking. You can't talk to the dog. Now, I wonder if I was playing a. Is there a class? Or a spell where you can talk to animals. It'd be cool. I wonder if that's if that's part of this. Like you could talk to the dog. See, the dog looks in great distress, whining pitifully and pacing around the room. Okay, so we probably don't want to kill the dog. Uh, why is that not opening? There we go. There's some, still some fussiness with the, this game. Something about doors and trying to get inside a room. and It's just a little bit fussy sometimes. It's got a chest of dwarves. Yeah, am I the only one that grew up calling this thing a chest of dwarves? <laughs> a chest of dwarfs? Yeah, down south, they just run it all together. It's like one word. Chest of dwarves. Chest of dwarves. I always thought they were saying chest of dwarves or dwarfs. Like, what in the world does this have to do with a dwarf? But I kind of like that. Uh, Kella's diary. Quick, let's read it before the FBI gets it. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> the small diary contains several pages covered in handwriting. Blah, blah, blah. Hopefully, I should be feeling better by tomorrow morning. Old Hora really knows her stuff. Looking forward to going back to work, actually. Never thought I'd hear myself say that. Still, Jahel's a, gen Still, Jahel's a generous mistress. Jahel. In my secret meetings with In, my secret meetings with In up in his room, where I have, when I have a spare minute or two, add some excitement to the day. I've always been acting a little strange lately. Can't think why. Oh, is that him at the door now? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> what? He went and right. Oh, you just say it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, because if not, you need to watch that movie immediately. Uh, let's see. Kel's corpse. Oh, this is sad. The young woman has been brutally murdered. Her head caved in with a large blunt object. Yikes. You only assume this was Kella. Uh, 
I guess I probably can't raise dead. Don't have that spell yet. I... Is there anything I can do to help her? I mean, I've already looted her place. <laughs> probably take more than a regular raise dead spell. I'm always curious if... You know, every now and then you'll find a game where they consider that option, like some player might come back with a raised dead scroll and... You know, they'll let the character come back and have a little side quest or something. Okay, so I guess we'll go back to the tavern now. Give them the bad news. Uh, fuck it. Get orient... oriented. Do you say oriented or orientated? Or did you say disoriented or disorientated? I always, uh, I notice British people say they add the aided. <laughs> but when I try to do it, it tries to correct me. That's some bad news. Oh boy. <laughs> Second thought, I'd best out. <laughs> oh, that poor girl. She was so young. How could anyone do such a thing? Kella did have a male visitor recently. Her brother from Arkendale. You said this inn was staying here at the inn? Inn was at the inn? <laughs> the letter inn? <laughs> was staying here at the inn? We should carry an inn called the letter inn. Uh, here's the master key to the rooms. Bring him to justice. Oh, yeah. I'll call the sheriff. No, we we'll just have this random dude. Just random dwarf. Oh, yeah, yeah. Up there, here's a master key to the whole place. <laughs> and now that I got the master key, I can steal everything. <laughs> steal. Bookcase, I'll even take the bookcase. No. That's the true gift. The true treasure is the gift of knowledge. Well, it is true, you have to pay a lot of money for college education. Even that Barton, you ever read that Barton's Barton's book, The Dungeons and Desktop? So expensive. I mean, that guy's just making a killing with that. Why doesn't he just give it away for free? Well, I think we found the Narvel. Yeah, here we go. Better save. Make sure I've. Yep. Okay. Now, power attack. As I recall, let's see. A character with this feat can make powerful but ungainly attacks. When power attack is selected, it grants a plus five bonus to the damage, but at the cost of a negative five to the attack roll. So basically, you'll miss a lot, but typically you have a pretty good attack bonus anyway. I don't know what kind of, you know, it always depends on their armor class, but let's go ahead and turn it on when we get to battle. I think that stays on. Well, it said it deactivated. You know, I always struggle with this. I can't tell it. Okay, so if it's got a vague, hard to see green outline, I guess it's activated. All right, so I guess you have to do that every battle. Well, let's maybe it'll click on automatically. Let's see. Oi, hello there. I'm not gonna let this guy go though. Chaotic good. He's killed somebody, so he's got to go. The only way to deal with a murderer is to murder him. You wouldn't happen to know a girl named Keller, would you? I don't know why. What's it to you? Uh, she was recently found murdered in her home. The attack was quite, quite brutal. Found her corpse, did you? I wondered how long it would be before somebody noticed she was missing. Oh, God. You think this guy's guilty? Oh, maybe it would have been better to have taken her somewhere, killed her quietly. But I just couldn't control myself. Not after seeing her with that other man. Oh, you mean her brother? You... Ugh. And now I have been discovered. Damn bad luck, actually. I was planning to leave tonight. I can't let you leave this room alive. Now, I could try to persuade him. I did this before, even though I've got a dwarf. He's not very charismatic. Sometimes that actually works. You don't get to fight them. 
but I guess it's probably the good thing to do is at least try to talk him into turning himself in. Although that's more of a legal way to handle the problem, right? I mean, what a, I'm trying to get in the head of chaotic good, right? So I don't care about laws. I just want to do the right thing. And this guy's killed somebody, so he's got to go. Forget the knights. I'll kill you myself. Die! <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks like power attack did not click on, so we're going to have to do that. Activate it. And then I think that's all there is to this. I mean, playing a fighter is not the most complicated thing. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> you know, I love these statistics. I like One thing I love about this game is it, get, it breaks down all the rules for you. Easy to read, color-coded. I mean, it's, it's really well done. So power attack. This or small vard. Oh, I should have named myself something better than that. <laughs> it's just a random name. Hit. So I rolled an 18. It took one away for that penalty for power attack. And that was enough to hit him. 17, and then the damage roll was 14 physical. So I think by default, by uh, without the power attack, yeah, the damage would have only been 1 to 6 plus 3, so I guess 9 at best. So I got those 5 extra points for the power attack. So probably worth it. Probably well worth it to just have that on. Here, get your two pairs and a dagger. So that bastards dealt with. Hmm. I don't feel bad about it at all. <laughs> Ooh, it's a chest. Oh, but it's trapped. <laughs> and I'm not a rogue, so if I... I just have to trip the trap and bash chests. Not entirely true. I think in this game, this rule set, if I'm remembering correctly. Potion of Cure Serious Wounds. Yeah, that might be helpful. Go ahead and put that somewhere. Owns you a quick bar. I'm going to probably have to pay. If you can't identify something, like when it's blue like this, it doesn't do me any good. I have to get it identified. I have to basically have a professional tell me what this thing is, what kind of powers it has. The blue indicates there's something magical about it, but uh, we don't know yet. Now, one thing I can do is just trip this and save it beforehand, so if we do have a disaster, I can just reload it. Fortitude save versus poison, so obviously this poison gas attack, poison gas trap, I guess. But since I'm a dwarf, I have a bonuses on poison. Wow, plus seven. So, very unlikely that I'm going to get poisoned. Locked. I think I... Yeah. So, I think, though, if I wanted to... I think anybody could put points into... Uh, where is it? Is there one for traps? Race, discipline, parry... Oh, maybe I misspoke. I thought there was a way that... Maybe I just don't have it yet. But anyway, we can always bash it. Tax the chest. You know, I like how he's like dancing all around. <laughs> oh, can we do the power attack? Surely this thing's not hard to hit. It's not moving anywhere. If you're missing, guy. <laughs> There we go. Now, I'm not sure. I think if you bash a chest, sometimes... Oh. Oh. Ring of protection. Isn't it if you bash chest, sometimes you damage the contents? I think that's true. If a ring of protection, if it got destroyed, trying to break it out of a chest, now would it? <laughs> that's a pretty logic. Yeah, we got Persian, and we got a little bit wounded there, I guess, from the villain. The letter N. Oh, it's N. Well, hello. Tell 
Child of Marvel has been brought to justice. Please take this. It's more than we agree, but you risk your life apprehending a killer. And dialogue. And we leveled up! <laughs> Should be in a pretty good position to take those rats on. Uh, now, one thing is that, you know, I said I want to do fighter and cleric. The build I looked at said that you should do four levels of fighter before switching into cleric. I think I'll probably stick to that. We'll see how it goes, but I'm tempted to jump into cleric. Yeah, disable trap. So anybody can learn to disable a trap. Yeah, or open lock. Okay. So if I, if I didn't want to have a henchman or minion that's a rogue, I could uh, just do this myself. But you get some advantages for the ones called class skills, I believe. Somehow this uh, this makes a difference somehow. And discipline, I think, is the one that's kind of crucial for me. Allows the character to resist any combat feats such as disarm, cold shot, or knockdown. So you could put a point into that. Uh, another good one is concentration. Uh, another good one, um, Tumble. Nice thing about Tumble is you get enough points in it, it gives you an AC bonus. Of course, that's always a great thing. But, you know, as a fighter, we're not going to be getting tons and tons of uh, skill points. It's one advantage to being a rogue. <laughs> Maybe the one of the few is you get lots of skills. Uh, and then we get the feats, and this is the system I think really makes this... That's why I like this rule set. I like the idea of being able to combine, you know, multi-class easily. Now, I used to not like that idea, but I've warmed up to it. But I've always liked the, the feats. Because it really makes it more interesting when you level up. If you play those gold box games, you basically just get some better hit points, some better stats, that sort of thing. Uh, but the only class that's interesting to level up is the, the wizards, because they get more spells and stuff. But you know, fighters typically aren't that interesting. Uh, but with this system, it definitely becomes more interesting. You get lots of options, and you can really start to specialize. Like, here's that weapon focus. You know, I've already got I got the long sword by default, but you, know, you could spend a point on that. And this gives you a plus one attack bonus with a weapon, and then later we can just ways to upgrade from there. Let's see, what do we want to do? Uh, let's see, what is cleave? If the character kills an opponent, he gets a free attack against any opponent who is within melee weapon range. So that would be, a, I think. A, uh, a pretty good choice. I've seen some debates about whether it's worth leveling that up all the way. Improved power attack. Wow, so you get a negative 10 penalty on your attack roll, and plus 10 to the damage. You know, I just start to wonder what I ever actually hit. <laughs> uh, two weapon fighting I'm not interested in. Weapon finesse is not a good one because this is just for dex people, right? Yeah, let's see. Does it do anything else? Yeah, let's see. If you have a light weapon, which you can use dex instead of strength. So if, you know, if you want to have a character warrior who is more nimble, you know, I don't really know what to pick here. Cleave is probably a choice between cleave for me and maybe knockdown might be fun. What is this? I've never really played around with this. A character with this feat can attempt to knock his melee opponents to the ground. The character makes an attack roll at negative four, and if successful, the defender makes an opposed discipline check against the character's attack roll. Blah, 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 blah. So prone characters cannot attack. You get a plus four bonus on them. A character can only make a knockdown attempt on opponents that are one size category larger than himself or smaller. Okay, so I guess a giant would be wouldn't work, but a human would. Or small. The opponent gets a plus four bonus on the opponent's check for every size category he is larger than the attacker. For negative four penalty for every size category he is smaller. <clears throat> so I guess it isn't a dwarf. And I seem to remember some confusion about this before, but I, I want to say a dwarf is like smaller than a human, right? Or is it considered the same? Oh, I should probably know that. <laughs> you know, let's just go with cleave. I don't want to. Maybe the next time I'll look at that. I know Cleave's a good one. Discipline plus one and Cleave. Let's see. Dwarves, dwarves, dwarves. Doesn't tell me. 
I'm actually curious if you guys know about, like, would I be taking a penalty on knockdown every time I try to knock down a human? I don't sure. Well, anyway, we can always play around with it. Uh. Yeah, so I just wanted to confirm this so I wouldn't give you bad information. But it says uh, half orcs, humans, dwarves, elves, half elves are all medium sized. So that would be fine. Halflings and gnomes are small size, so I'm glad I looked that up. <laughs> so I could do knockdown, it wouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead. If it's a halfling, though, I guess it would be. Or a gnome. Alright, uh, let's see. We need to do this tree quest. We've got the boy here with the blood blood apples. Hello. I want to be an adventurer when I grow up. <laughs> Not bad, he could climb any tree. You hear about a message, didn't tell me. You didn't tell Ma, did you? If she found out I'd been scrumping again, she'd be... <laughs> what? <laughs> scrumping? I'd been scrumping again, she'd ground me for a ten day! At least. You scrumper. You scrumpy scrump scrumper. I'll do worse if you don't tell me what you want. Your secret safe with me. Yay! It's like this, mister. My friend Will said that the apples that grow on the tree near the Temple of Chantal are made of blood. That's why it's called a blood tree. I want to see for myself, but I fell. Maybe you could climb it. <laughs> Dwarves climbing trees. Oh, this will be fun. Let's see what I can do. Well, I guess they did okay in the, the Hobbit, didn't they? Where's this? Where's the well? Okay, temple. There's the. No. There's the temple. There you go. Come on. I don't think I've actually been inside the temple yet. And a blood tree. Every month for about a week it produces blood. Uh, this magnificent and unusual tree has leaves the color of bright blood. Huge blood red apples hang invitingly from the upper branches. So you can try to climb it or you can try to shake it. Let's shake. shake a tree for your blood apple. Alright, said so I got a blood apple. <laughs> this looks like some kind of cheesy clip art or something. Oh, come on. What? That doesn't look good. You should have at least taken the background off of that. Oh, it feels like so amateurish production values. Ah, I can't stack them either. Oh. What does it do? Does it do anything for me? Use. Blood frenzy. Let's put it. Uh, let's see. The blood tree caused an effect similar to a barbarian's berserker rage. <laughs> this has resulted in unfortunate consequences when angry orchard owners have confronted groups of young scrumpers driven crazy by bloodlust. Well, that sounds like it'd be a good thing. Let's go ahead. And... Let's see. I'm not... I'd have to try to remember what a barbarian rage is like. It's different. The different rule sets. Usually it's a damage bonus, which takes some. AC penalties, or you get more damage, or something. Usually worth it. Uh, talk to this. Well, hello. It's a good looking uh, temple. You always wonder. You always see these in British science fiction movies and fantasy. Like, uh, that's what a career arc. I would. I just want to do this all day. You know, this requiem. <laughs> That's my dream. Cloak of fortification. So they, they got these. Uh, they got good stuff, but I just don't have the cash. Let's see. Maybe I can get this. Uh, I can get this identified here, probably. It's a hundred gold, but you know, you just have to pay it unless you want to boost up your. Uh, you know. Brooch of shielding. This appears to be a piece of simple gold jewelry used to fasten a cloak of cape. In addition to this mundane task, the fruit of shielding can be activated with a touch to place an invisible field of force around the wearer, 
Granting extra protection and immunity to magic missiles. That's cool. Shield properties. You shield at level five at three times a day? Oh my, that's awesome! Wow, that's a great item. Hell yeah, I'm going to be using that a lot. So three times a day, so I don't have to worry about running out of charges. You know, just wait a day, rest, and they should come back. So that, that's a really good item. Glad I did not sell it. Don't see anything else here I can really afford. <laughs> I don't like the stupid short sword. You know, I thought it gave you a... I thought it... I thought since you had a uh, weapon weapon focus that it would just give you the wep whatever weapon you focused in fo focused on. Man, I can't talk. <laughs> I know I thought if you had that feat, you'd just get the weapon kind of as a little freebie. But for whatever reason, they only gave me a criminal short sword. You know, although I've read that the short sword is kind of underrated. You know, the Romans basically had a short sword. What's good about it? You lose a little bit of range, reach, I guess, but it's it's sturdier. It doesn't break as easy easily. It's better for stabbing. Old school. You know what? I think before we take on the rats, I'm trying to think. Is it? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Let me take a quick look here at this. Farms. Yeah, we could do the goblins, but you know, I'm ready for rats. I'm ready for rats. Here we go. Let's see. Better rest up. Oh, I can't rest. Maybe I can rest inside. Definitely want to rest before this battle, though. Alright. Case. <laughs> oh, there's a book. You think he's dumb enough to buy the book I just pulled off his shelf? You look like the adventuring salt. I assume you saw my note on the message board? Those blasted rats have taken over my basement. Classic. I even saw one scuttling around the shop floor earlier. Soon business will begin to suffer. If business suffers, my partners get upset. <laughs> Tell me more about the rat infestation. I'll pay you to take care of it. It began a ten day back. At first, there were only a few, but if you know anything about rats, do you know who you're talking to? We're good, for God's sake, man. You'll know they have multiply faster than coins in a symbiont's pocket. That sounds a bit dicey. <laughs> we're going to thin line there, buddy. See, I put some Persian down, but the vermin <laughs> touched it. <laughs> it's like they noticed your gear. Some of that rat Persian. Could take care of the problem. <laughs> I thought you might see that. Raz and adventures go together like Elminster and, ex and excuses for never being around when he's needed. What? Rats and adventures go together like Elminster and excuses for never being around when he's needed. Uh, does that make sense to you? <laughs> Means something to somebody. Uh, here's the key to the basement. Come back when the rats are all dead. I don't want to hear a single squeak from them. Oh, yes. You mentioned business partners. It's not important. Yeah, let's see. Does this guy have a better weapon than a stupid old short sword? I need a long sword. Oh, plus one. That's going to be too expensive. Doesn't he have a regular? Well, these are great weapons that can't. I'm not gonna be able to afford a plus one. You know, I might have to go. I don't think we went to the blacksmith. Let's see, where's that blacksmith? Curiosity, killer. There we go. Yeah, there's this all the way across there. Jam along. Uh, let's see. I think uh, if I get a long sword, then I'll get that plus one bonus for my weapon focus. So at least I'll have that. You know, I'm a professional rat slayer. See, I know you need you need to get property properly kitted up before you take.
take on the rats. Don't underestimate a rat. Hello there. Welcome to Miss Smithy. I can make whatever you require. Best workmanship you'll find outside of Dwarven Smithy. Clean as nail of an arse, Okay, there's your... Where's your weapons? Uh, Longsword, there we go. That's a little more of my price range. <laughs> so I'll take that. Now this should make quite a difference. Let's see. Yeah, so now i got a plus six attack bonus. That is nice. And I also would like a shield. Uh, let's see. Tower shield. Armor check penalty. Arcane spell failure. Feats required shield. I don't know if there's any reason not to just go tower shield. Quite cumbersome, but I don't think that's going to matter. Let's go ahead and go full tower shield. Yeah, it bumps us up quite nicely. And yeah, let's see if we can get something better than leather armor. Studded leather armor. Uh, chain shirt. Half plate. You know, I know I'm going to get a ring of appraisal, but I'm going to just sell everything now. <laughs> uh, sell. Sell these stupid books. Sell. Don't sell that. Topaz, sell. So that gives us 240. We're going to sell that. There we go. 242 gold. Let's sell a key. You cannot sell a plot item. But I want to sell a plot item because it doesn't have part of the plot. All right. Ooh. Oh, so close. I just need 20 more gold. Get the split mail. I guess I have to settle for stupid old chain mail. I might actually need these apples. I could sell a potion, but yeah, well, I'll just... You know, I guess I could sell the studded leather armor. Let's see if that'll give us any. <laughs> Four gold. I was so close. Okay. Uh, I wonder how much that's worth. 18 gold. So we could sell one of them. I hate to do it. Oh, it sold them all! Oh, well, at least I get that. At least I get the split mail now. So now. <laughs> 19 AC. We got our long sword. I think we're good to go. Yeah, I'm completely out of cash. I probably can't even buy a stupid old helmet. Now, we'll have to come back once we got some more... Some more money. But I'm feeling like it's time to kill... Some rats. <laughs> oh, wrong way. We're good. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Does it get any better than a good old never a nice game where you're off to kill some little rats? That's all I ask. I don't ask much out of life. <laughs> Just let me kill some rats. I think we're good to go here. One thing I like about playing this fire, you don't have to worry about stealth. Uh, I wish this power attack would just work all the time, though. It's going to be... Silly that to keep clicking it. Oh, is that him? I already got a rat, I think. Is it? Yeah, I think that's that's the rat. Okay. <laughs> Power attack. Should I rage? Let's see if I can deal with this without raging. <laughs> cool. Come on. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I'm missing, missing. I might have to turn off power attack. These things are probably really... probably have a high dex. Oh! <laughs> oh, the cleave already worked. See, that cleave was a good choice. Already, already working for me. Man, there's a bunch of these. Come on, don't get surrounded! Attack! Oh! Boom! Boom! 
<laughs> you see that? You kill one, and he gets the cleave, so he's like, pow, pow, get to the next one. Efficiency. Boom! Cleave it! Yeah! Oh, you're next. Right a boy. He's not attacking. Yeah, looks like the. I'll have to dialogue with him. Wait, wait! You don't know, kill Slay Rattaboy! Let me live and I promise swear that Ratkin leave me this basement! Rattaboy knows things too, can tell dwarven things where hidden treasure precious can be. Yes, yes, took creative writing classes. <laughs> Say double words for everything. Dictionary, book of definitions. Uh, these rats are your kin. Yes, yes, kid, pack brothers, pack sisters, friends, rat boy, not like other were rats. I don't want to kill, murder, spool skins. Just want to be left in peace with pack family. Oh, don't tell me we're going to have to let him go. If I let you live, where will you go? Rat boy knows the learns of abandoned house close by. There we no bother, annoy Delph, the scavenge, eat, gobble, crawl bugs. Don't cost no harm. Get paid by word. Why are you here in this basement? We have from great forest wood, dark elves, everywhere. spider pets, go murder rats, and chase rat a boy. Got no choice but to flee to human town village. Oh. I think I'll just kill you. Oh, I guess that would not be chaotic good. Hmm. Ugh. Don't talk about a moral dilemma. Tough choice. Matter. I want to kill this thing. And I guess I have to let him go. You know, be sorry, regretful. I'm already sorry and regretful, rat boy. Why can't you just be a rat and just attack? I have to make the difficult choices of not killing. You'll find such old burned building to and south of town, but it's still some potions that Rattaboy smell them. Such a car that you find. Old burned building to the south. Rats, rats everywhere. Rats, rats everywhere, but not a word rat to kill! Ah! I just reload and kill him. <laughs> oh, what a tease. Right, well, at least we got our reward. Let's see. I reward you with some split mail. <laughs> I'm done with the rat problem. Indeed, it seems you have. Here's your reward. <laughs> How much did he give us? 250 gold. All right, so we got 254. I guess I can get the helmet now. Where's the helmet? Oh, is it? Oh. Scimitar. Must be thinking about the other vendor. Oh, bag of holding. Those are great. A little out of my price range. That would probably be the first thing I'd want to buy, though, is that bag of holding, because you can get all the loot you like with that, and it doesn't weigh you down. It's a very essential item for somebody like me, who <laughs> collects all the loots. Okay, I think we want to do the farm, but let's go, let's go ahead and grab a helmet. While I am thinking about it. Oh, wait, turn thing. A burned house. Get some potions, I suppose. Could always sell them. That looks like it. Yep, okay. Let's see if we can find it. Might have to turn on the tech mode. This is the right place, I'm pretty sure. I don't see any rolling going on, no. You know, this is when you're playing a tabletop game, that this is like the DM says, roll a perception. <laughs> Why? Are you, uh, is there something here? And then you roll like a one. Like, There's nothing here. 
You don't see anything here. You don't smell anything here. Oh, come on! Now, not only do I not get to kill that stupid rare rat, I don't even get the potions. All right. Well, that's why you should have been a rock. Let's see, uh, helmet. You want a pot helmet, a winged helmet, a horsehair helmet, or a stag helmet, or a spike helmet. Yeah, so I don't think they, I don't think it actually matters, other than cosmetics, but. Yeah, that one looks pretty good, horsehair. Make mine horsehair. All that does is give me a little concentration bonus, but it's better than nothing. I don't think I need anything else. Probably can't afford anything else, but I feel pretty well geared for a level two. I keep forgetting to rest. Alright. I don't have any spells to memorize. Let's go do these southern farms. Southern farms. Yeah, cool. That's the same uh, painting that was on the bar. The bar, Shadowdale Town, Southern F uh, Harper's Hill, Southern Farms. Okay, trip took one hour. Let's see, can I rest here? Maybe. Yeah, we got to rest up. Oh, yeah, rest is disturbed. What disturbed me? All right, that time we rested. Eight hours, good to go. Of course, now it's nighttime and super spooky. Our health is back. Chickens. Second outhouse. Pretty. I don't think I necessarily want to <laughs> break into an outhouse. If it's locked, it's probably for a good reason. Can't get in there. Uh, maybe it's because it's nighttime. Oh man, see this is what I'm talking about. Like, how do I get in there? Go inside. Oh, come on, inside. There must be like one tiny little area I have to click on to get him inside there. Oh, this is, this is crappy. Come on. Inside there! Is there no way inside there? What's that? What in the name of God? I can't tell what's happening here. Don't shut the door, go inside! Oh, I want my money back. Oh, that is just absolutely not working, is it? Do I need to get inside here? Maybe it's just... Maybe I don't need to go in there. <laughs> Olin Farm. Yeah, it looks like it's important for me to get in there. Do I have to... Do I literally have to break this? Now this is open? Oh. It's a goblin. It's a goblin. It's a goblin. Power attack. Power attack mode, yeah. Come on, come on. It's a goblin, yeah. I deactivated you. <laughs> right, what's going on here? Thanks for your help, stranger. Place is crawling with goblins. First my prize cows, now they want to try and invade my home. Were it not for you and my good friend Blazeguard here, I dread to think what could have happened to Lest and the kids. Family safe? Yeah, they're safe. Took refuge upstairs, locked themselves in the bedroom. <laughs> Tell me about Blazeguard. 
He's a retired adventurer turned farmer. I don't think the goblins were prepared to cross blades with the man who's killed ogres, trolls, and worse. Where are your family? Where did the goblins attack? Wish I knew where they're coming from. The old tunnels in the sinkhole to the west of here. That's what's in the sinkhole. Uh, we're going off to the sinkhole next. I've always wanted to visit a sinkhole. It's on my bucket list. There's goblins jabbering about some Margblatt fellow. Bring me back his head and I'll pay you 250 gold. Rast is guarding the gate leading down to tunnels. He won't get in there. Here, take this ring. Show it to Rast and he'll let you pass. Me and him go back a long way. What can I do for you? Oh, nice bit of color. Should we rob him while we're here? Help yourself, he didn't say. <laughs> Look at him. Wine, spirits, ale. Drink that right now. Intelligence decreased. Burk. Uh, probably don't want to mess with his family upstairs. What's that? A dart? Why is there a dart on the ground? Give me a dart plus one. What's this for? Um, uh, ooh! A top? A chance to attack. I've got a cloak, but I can't identify it. Not gonna... Oh, yeah, there's that ring. Okay. Okay, I have to get that cloak identified. Could be something good. Shifel, thank you for protecting me. Oh, there's a dark board. Oh, I see. I get it. That's why there is a dart there. Well, that's a pretty clever way to let the, give the guy some darts. There's more than just one. There's 50. You know, that's the only bar sport I like is darts. I just don't go for a pool. I just suck at it. Darts, though, that I can do. Darts. You know, you can make love on a pool table, but don't try it on a dartboard. Yeah, I keep this up. Can I come up with more jokes as this guy bashes into this chest? <laughs> don't mind me! I'm just up here bashing your chest open. Very stealthy, very roguish. Oh, come on. Power attack. I can't tell if power attack is on or off. There we go. Two hundred and twenty-five gold. Oh yeah, I got you gold. Is that okay? Good tidings to you. Thank you so much for protecting your family. You're such a hero. Such a good person. My kids will go to college. And that money that was in the chest that you protected from those goblins. Uh, crow, cow. Is there any other anything else here? I always like to just explore because you might find some additional treasure. Maybe some. Yeah, there's a little down over there. Oh, yeah. Let's kill the goblin! Oh, gosh! Good. I see another one. <laughs> don't know what's coming to you. Glad you didn't notice me. Ooh, Cleve! Oh, man! Man, I don't know how you can play this without Cleve. It's just the best. I mean, how fun is that? Just to mow things down like that. Oh! I wonder if my power attack is turned back off again. Let's see. Yeah, I guess you do have to click on it every time. Yeah, see it deactivated. 
There's probably a mod for that. Keep it on all the time. Ooh, this guy's shammy! Ooh, where's the shammy? Oh, he turned invisible. There he is. This is blind. I guess the one of the situations where blind fight would come in. Uh, it didn't help him out too much, did it? Oh, what's this, though? Must have got me with the curse. He must have cursed me. Come here. <laughs> yes, yes, there you go. Wait, that's not what was in it a second ago. What in... Am I losing my mind? You guys saw that, right? That's not what was in there. I got Solkar's ring. Okay, okay. You know, you could probably search around here, maybe find some more stuff, but we got what we came for. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's probably about all there is to see. Well, I do like a nice map. It's easy to navigate. What's that? Windmill? Windmill. Locked! Yeah, why would you have a locked chest at the top of a windmill? There's something in here that makes sense. Yeah, am I even doing any damage to this thing? <laughs> Critical hit! Totally. Man, I wish I had some lore skill. Sometimes you get a potion of war. I don't think that's any of those. Oh, there's a goblin over there. What a great guard he is! Yeah, there's another guy. I've only been over there bashing a chest open for the past ten minutes. <laughs> Good thing you didn't notice. Oh, oh, you're dead. Eh, it's just regular arrows. Probably not even worth carrying. Right. Oh, what's this? That's weird. Get out of there! Oh, I see another guy there. Gotcha! Come here, you! Come here, you! Yeah, I swipe over there where I'm not, because there I am! Ha <laughs> you know, ha! These goblins aren't the smartest creatures. To kill all your life stuck, but I needed the XP. <laughs> Believe it or not, killing that pig of yours gave me two XP. You probably deserved it. Anything else to see here? Oh, we need to go back and give him this ring. That's right. Why go over a bridge that's right next to me when I can wade across the stream? What is that? Crop circle? And another little house. No. You made it inside. It's half the battle. There's the guy we need to talk to. Uh, rob him first. Yeah, maybe I could sell the book. <laughs> I greet you, my yeah, 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 yeah. Continue. Bring back my wife's ring, and I'll give you this magical amulet. You mean I the ring that I have? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you made an old man happy. Isn't that what we all just want to do? You know, I'm pretty sure this is the one that's it's like appraisal or something. Makes me get a little better deal when I'm trading. So I want to get that. 
You know, Luke probably put a lot of work into putting all this stuff here, but you know what he didn't do? He didn't put a chest over there. Not even worth my time. But there was a secret chest if you were a rogue with search mode on. Alright, I think we're good to go then, right? Turn the ring back in. Well, let's see. Hour 24, I'm gonna switch reels. Not sure how long I want to record this. I think the whole thing is supposed to be like, well, according to that website, <laughs> 100 hours, but I think I saw somewhere else it was like 6 to 8 hours. So. About 3 hours long, should be about halfway through. Should be good enough to give you a more than a decent idea whether this mod is for you. Okay, let's go to the let's go to a trader so we can get the stuff identified. And then I think it'll be uh, figure out where to go next. Not quite sure. Okay, we're good. Hi there. Okay, yep, let's identify this amulet. No, that's the ring of fire resistance. Arf! Amulet of fire resistance. Clonar's ring. Uh, gauntlet. Identify. Yeah, gloves of appraisal. So this gives me a, let's see, plus three bonus to appraise. So with those on, the splint mail plus one is 13.18. With those off, it's 13.18. Huh? Let's try this again. Okay. Hi there. Maybe it only works if you had the gloves on when you start. Uh, what was the item I was looking at? 13.18. <clears throat> Cancel. Put the gloves on. Okay, let's try it again. Hi there. Merchant. Now it is 12 six. So quite nice. You can see here it's basically affecting this role here about the merchant's reaction being favor favorable or not. So now we should get a little better price action. I don't know why do I need a top. Eh, it's not a plot item. Any stupid darts? Anything? Oh, we got this armor. Got a book. Let's see if that'll give me any. No, oh, still a hundred gold even with the gloves. So studded leather armor plus one, I don't think it's going to be, no, no, I don't like this. Uh, we got uh, some kind of cloak, cloak of resistance plus one, saving throws universal plus one, that's actually pretty, pretty nice. Uh, and we got some arrows, oh, come on. I have to identify them just to sell it. Oh, All right. somehow it, somehow it, I didn't, maybe I had my lore rolls <laughs> good for a change. <laughs> okay, so 481 gold. I probably won't be able to buy anything here. This plus one stuff's just too expensive. Just out of curiosity, though, how much is a, does he have a long sword? It's a bastard's yeah, long sword plus one, twenty four hundred. So we can forget about that. Definitely don't have enough of that ring of holding, so we'll just have to come back later, but uh, positive note. Harper's Hill Elminster's Tower Sinkhole, that's right. We want to go to that sinkhole. You know what I'm thinking is, <clears throat> I'll, I'll wrap up these uh, little starter quests, and that should be about three hours. <laughs> I guess they're not starter quests, but you know what I mean. 
wrap up this area. And it'll probably be a pretty good, pretty good spot to stop. Not make a 12 hour long video. Sure, going to a sinkhole. We're gonna eat a lot of. What are they having a sinkhole? Cabbages? There's Rass, so I'll give him the ring. Halt! The area beyond this gate is restricted. No one may pass beyond this point. Why is there a wyvern skeleton nearby? Yeah, why is that? A mated pair of wyverns once roosted near the old skull decades ago. This one was killed by a dragon in the year of the war. As for its mate, perhaps it still lives. There it would be ancient and probably even more bad tempered. The tunnels connected in this old quarry aren't safe, sir. So we've got goblins, trolls, and hell knows what else emerging from the tunnels into that sinkhole. Let me into the stink hole. Connor, trust you. That's good enough for me. Just go. Bet. Uh, into the pit. You guys ever listen to a band called Testament? You know, I really, I find some, a lot of people don't know about that band. It's, they got some good. How about, including one called Into the Pit. <laughs> I don't know if that's the title of it or not, but man, it, it's a good song. Guitar player. I think he died, but he's on a couple of those albums. Just really, really phenomenal. And the skeleton of a wyvern makes marks a strange sights close to town. Oh, not so unusual. I have a skeleton of a wyvern out in front of my place. A pile of stones warrants investigation. Got me a gold pish. Okay, now with that out of the way, is there any other piles of rocks you want to poke around before we cool? Into the stink hole. Where is the actual stink hole. There it is. Uh, don't jump off the cliff. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. Down the little slime passage. Ooh, this is weird, man. This, this engine sometimes just... What in the name of God? What is it doing? Alright, there it is. All right, a warg pup. Back to wherever. Back to... Uh, oh, I survived that. Attacks of opportunity everywhere. Right, got him. Got him. Boop and boop. Ooh, mushroom. Come on. Ooh, I bet you that thing's gotta be trapped. I mean, come on. That thing just screams I'm trapped. You know it's trapped. Oh, well. It's not trapped. Oh, nothing but some stupid daggers and a torch? Do I need a torch? Maybe he forgot that he put all these fires everywhere. <laughs> back, back to there. There. Yeah. These guys are about as observant as. <laughs> I never get so. I gotta watch my health though. It's getting a little bit low. You gotta remember too that I got that stealth brooch if things get a little too hairy. Oh, this is I'm, this is what I love, man. Give me a nice stink hole like this. Lots of twisty little caverns to explore. No stinking traps anywhere. This just feels right. Some more goblins. Uh, 
And I wish it'd make that easier to see if that was on or not. Why do you keep disabling it? Is there any way to just make that thing always be on? Uh, UI maybe? Advanced. Floaty text. Chat swear filter. Enable game show active effects. Combat sticky modes. That sounds like what I want. Sticky mode. Sticky mode. Yay, beam dog. Good for you. you All right. So, so that should just always be on now. See if you complain enough about it. They fix it. Come on. Oh, level up! Yay! Am I poisoned? Are you kidding me? I'm a dwarf! Yeah, even dwarfs can get poisoned sometimes. It doesn't make you immune to poison. You're not immune to poison. Why is there a cow down here? Go. Raised for both its haughty meat and nourishing milk, these large herbivores are a staple resident of rural Burgundy. Uh, uh, Ooh, amulets. What all did I get out of that? Yep, poisoned. What if when I level up it'll take care of that for me? Yeah, they do a couple more. A couple more. Um, should I just keep raising that, or should I switch off and do a little some of this other stuff? I'm tempted to get some points in lore just to help me with the identifying things. Uh, one point's probably not a lot. I go ahead and start that though. Yeah, get some interesting options this time. What else? What all do I have here? Archery, weapon focus. Um, you know, I wonder if, if I have to get weapon focus a couple different weapons before I'll start to be able to get the better, you know, the upgraded version. I seem to remember something like that, that you have to get like two weapon focuses. The other option, improved initiative. I always like to get that one. Apparently it's not very popular, but I kind of like going first. I think we should try the knockdown, maybe. Toughness is what I usually like to get. Um, yeah. Required for improved knockdown. Weapon focus. Required for weapon specialization. So how do we get weapon specialization? Hang on a sec. I can find this out. Okay, so apparently I have to be level 4 to get weapon specialization. So I don't think I need to get another weapon focus. Unless I just want to have a little more uh, versatility. So I think I'm going to go with knockdown because that sounds like it would be fun to play with. I've heard that it's good skill to have. And to make gameplay a little more interesting, I think, to have a couple more skills. But I do need to get it on this bar. Let me see. Let me move this stuff around. Yeah, special attacks. Knockdown. Go ahead and put the uh, that there. Okay, so now we're going to hit F3. Locked. You are so gonna feel some wrath. All right, one down. What do we get? A white light gem. 
Spirits, ale, and wine. Oh, it's my kind of chest. Oh, no. Constitution decreased. I wonder if I could sleep that off. Ooh, bullets. Let's try to rest. Can't rest while there's enemies nearby. So we might be stuck with that stupid... Whatever that is. Till we can rest. Ooh, it's a young troll. Let's see if we can knock him down. It's a young troll. Did it work? Knock down. Miss. Could be because he's bigger, but I'm pretty sure I got a nice boost on these guys. Try it again. Knock down. Missed. Maybe. Let's try it. Wait until we get somebody who's a little shorter. Ooh, it's good. Now, sometimes these trolls, uh, they regenerate unless you can burn them. You know what? Maybe that's why I put a torch at the start of this done. Come on. Barely injured. Well, at least he doesn't seem to be hit. Oh, he's healing himself. I might have to turn power attack mode off. It's going to be this hard to hit. Let's see. Nope, oh, 16 there. Good. Let's see, by the time I get another hit on him, he'll probably be barely injured, yeah. Okay, let's take the potion. Activate the shield. Turn off power attack. Should be able to hit him better now. Critical hit. Come on, come on. Eleven. Ten. Oh, he's badly wounded. Come on, it's just a young troll. Eleven near death. One more hit ought to do it. Don't miss. Oh, you missed. Come on, one more hit. Get him. Oh, come on! Get that troll! Near death again. Okay, come on, hit, 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 hit. Oh, near death. <laughs> I'm even nearer. I'm even nearer. I'm not dead yet. Oh, near death. Come on. Get him. Ugh. Does rage give you a accuracy bonus? Tempted to try this apple. There he's down. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to have to use this torch. Let's see how this works. Troll. Uh, how do I burn him? There we go. That work? Use the God, use the stinking torch on him. Oh, can I not do that? Burn him! Burn him with torch! I'm not sure how this works. Oh, he's back up again! Come on! What? Burn him! Let's see, special abilities. No, examine him, cast a spell on him, special attacks. Attack him? How do I use the torch on him? Examine it, cast a spell. Don't unequip it. Empty slot, unequip, cast a spell. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to make him attack with that torch and burn him. Alright, well, do I have anything else that'll burn? Equip to light your way. No, oh, this is not good. I don't know how to burn him. Unequip. That's just unequipping it. Alright, let me do a little research. Well, I don't seem to be able to find anything online about this. It said 
One thing I said, you said you just stand near them with the torch and they burn, but it's not seen to be the case here. I'll have to just maybe run from them. Could be one of these amulets. Is a, you think you would have like fireballs or something. Let's try to stand as close as I can. Attacking him doesn't do any good. Damages. Torch. Well, there's no options to, like burn or. Okay, just have to leave him alone. I'm. Can't do anything to him. Suppose I could push him into the fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't believe this. That stinks. Why the heck can I burn him with my torch? It's really pissing me off. I mean, they even give you a torch. What is there? What am I missing here? Okay, he's just gonna follow me all the way out. You know, usually they would give you some kind of way to do a coup de gras. Or He's not using the torch as a weapon, he's just... Wait, did he hit him with the torch that time? Oh, this is dumb. I take the sword away, he just goes to his fist. I can't make that my main weapon. He's <laughs> just punching him, this is... This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, I just... White Light Gem. Add item property. Would that make any difference? Socketed successfully. That's yeah, just a light. I'm badly wounded. Shield is gone. Well, if he's not going to attack with that torch, I guess I'll have to go back to the shield. Let's see if I can. I don't know what else to do at this point. I have to get out of here, run away, and go back to town and get something that'll have some fire on it. Say like use or very useful except when one wishes to be stealthy. I just hope I'm not I didn't miss something. Let's see, equip the torch. Examine, cast a spell. Attack, special attack. I think it'd be a maybe like a special attack. Special abilities, crafting skills, taunt. Uh, nothing. Stupid troll. Yeah. See, I, I wouldn't mind if I got XP every time I knocked him down. run from him. Let's get out of here. Might have to go back to town and see if there's some kind of way to... some type of item that'll burn. Let me see, what else was in this chest? Huh? Oh, that Daggers? Why would there be daggers here? I don't know. Maybe this, maybe this torture, maybe this torch will work. <laughs> Where 
really want to burn him. Alright, run away, run away. Oh, it's fine. Oh, jeez. Hey. Put the stupid torch away. Oh, this is terrible. Hey, Rast is gonna fight him. Oh, now I probably... Sh now I probably messed up good. Potion of Antidote. I got rid of that, I guess, but... Close the gate. <laughs> I guess this is one way to handle this. Maybe Rast will be able to kill him. Little wounded, near death. Near death. Near death. See, you can't do anything to him, though. All right, all right. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, somebody here must have some way, some item. Maybe the curiosity trader. See if they've got like a scroll. I don't know if I can use a scroll, but need something with a burning. Wait, bullet, ice arrow. I don't think that'll work. And I don't think I can use any of these scrolls. So I can't use the wand. <laughs> Stupid old torch, it doesn't work. Let's see what this amulet is. Amulet of natural armor plus one. Uh, yes, I don't guess fire resistance. I don't need to do a lot of fire damage, just... I, could... I don't know if I could make it. Trap? Is that what I need to do? There's some magic bags. What's this? Bull of the Bay Duster. Ah, bracers of protection. Must be missing something. I don't think they would put that troll in there without any way for a fighter to kill it. Uh, Sure. I guess we could try the swear goon guy. I guess I might just have to give up on the troll, man. That would suck. Hi there. Start merchant. Let's see, does he? You know, if I had a fire arrow. Arrow shuriken. Those darts I found were just regular darts, though. Motion, scroll. Nothing there. Well, the only thing I can think of is getting a trap of, like the acid trap, and trying to lure him into it. I don't know how that's going to work with him being dead, you know. I hate to say it, but I think we just found a, a little, uh, <clears throat> a little problem. Let me think. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, Curiosity Trader didn't have anything. The healer, I don't know why the healer would have something that would help. Uh, but, uh... 
Well, hello. Some services you offer. Wait. Yes. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's there's wands that would do the trick, but being a fighter, I can't use those. You know what I'm going to have to do? I know where the minions are. The minions are in that Harper's Hill. So maybe I have to get one of them to... Maybe one of them will have the some kind of spell. Hello. Uh, Mr. Andergaard. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so here's the where the henchmen are. It's in Harper's Hill. So hopefully somebody here will be. Yeah, Ferret is the rogue. <laughs> it's got a funny dialogue here with these characters. Got a priest. And uh, let's see who else is here. I don't think a thief is going to have what I need. Lady Elizabeth, barely out of tear. Ferret. This must be a warrior. Well, neither one of those are going to be helpful. Well, go ahead and take the thief. We yeah, might just have to wait until we find some fire bottles or something like that. Come back. I am kind of surprised that they just would have like no way to kill that. It's going to bug me. You know, I really want to kill that freaking troll, but. Yeah, this is... I never... You know, one thing I never liked about this game, Neverwinter Nights anyway, is this stupid henchman system. So cumbersome. Let's see what got here. He's got a torch. I wonder if he would burn the thing. <laughs> Do I have anything to give him? I just had some flaming arrows. I think that's what I need. Just a flaming dart or flaming arrow. Even a cantrip. Alright, anyway, enough about that. So I think this is probably about all we can do at this point. I won't be able to kill the troll and get to the next phase of whatever that is, but... I feel like I'm at a good stopping point. A little bit more. What is this? To Outer Kermithor. I know I can't do the, the wizard yet. You know, I, I remember seeing a thing on the map about a uh, Tower of Ablasha or something like that. You know, maybe that's where they have the... Maybe there's a store there. Twisted Tower of Ashaba. Yeah, let's check that out before we give up. <laughs> I hate to have to give up. There's got to be a way. I haven't tried every single house. There might be some a chest in one with some Bottles of fire oil. <laughs> okay, well, let's go here. Oh, da -da -da -da. Twisted Tower. Oh no, no, I'll talk to you, ferret. Twisted Tower, that sounds like a place where you might be able to find a... yeah archers good give me a fire arrow well met I'm sorry sir Lord morning Jim is not taking visitors govern the twisted tower well like folks and it was called the twisted tower I had a twisted tower one time tower. notable defense against the humans and surface elves who dwelt in the Dell lands. 
Come on, like the energy tower. No. <laughs> Let me in or I'll smash the door down. So this must be something I have to come back to later. That is unfortunate. Hmm. Awaiting orders, sir. Come back in a couple days. I'm I wonder if that literally means I just need to rest a couple times. Probably. I probably have to do something else in some other place before this will activate. I'll probably get a quest to come here. That is my guess. Well, there we go. I've done everything I can think of. <sighs> you know, the only thing I can think of that I haven't tried might be worth the shot. If I can just avoid the troll. Wait, this is right. Shadow go. If I can avoid the troll and just try to kill the, the goblins or whatever it is, and. Sure, no. Get into the tunnels. And just. And all I need to do is kill this Marglat. I don't really need to kill the, the troll. Do the quest. So maybe I can just avoid him. Kill Mardblat. Turn the quest in. A little bit cheesy, but maybe that's what you have to do. If only I had burning hands or a fireball. It looks like the troll. Oh, Rast is near death. Does that mean he killed the troll for me? This is terrible. Watch him still be down there. I guess that's... If this works though, I guess that is one way to deal with this. Oh boy. Oh, this is making me nauseated. Get into the hole. Earth! There! That's <laughs> terrible! Alright, get in there! Okay, I don't see the troll at the start. So, th he wasn't there. So, my guess is he's either to the west here. Frogmaster. Frogmaster Dodd. No won't fight, just be left alone with Frogos. Where's your leader? Mark Blatt down in southern caves. Frogos are friends. They're my friends. Doggos not like other goblins, but for Frogos. Skin is slimy, but hearts is true. Aww. Yeah, some say it's not easy being greed. Well, is there anything else to do with this guy? I guess there's no reason I have to kill him. I suppose one of these frogs would have a fish. Fish. Maybe I can slap the troll with the fish. <laughs> really, really reach it now. Nothing there. I kind of want to kill these giant frogs. Frogmaster dead. Yeah, well, he said the southern caves. Yeah, let's kill this. Uh, let's kill this goblin master leader if we can. And then we'll turn that in. I think that'll be a good stuff. I bet you that troll's back in that cave area down there. Shave. At least there's not any traps in here. Uh, there's some goblins. Actually, turn my power attack mode. I want to see if I can knock something down, too. Let's see if I can... Don't die! I want to <laughs> die so quick! 
I wanted to knock you down. I mean, I guess I did knock him down. Not in the way I intended. There's another chamois. Gotta get to him. First, kill them. Okay. Oh, he must be turning himself invisible. I know there's a shaman around here. There he is. Let's see if I can knock him down. Oh, miss. What is this using? Surely that doesn't use dex. Season sand. Uh, knock down on Goblin Shot and miss. One minus one equals zero. Well. Miss. I wonder what I need to do to give myself a little advantage on this. The character makes an attack roll at negative four. Okay, so maybe I can't really use that with power attack. I'll turn power attack off. Oh, he's dead. I wonder if my power attack, that negative on the power attack, is affecting my knockdown, too. Probably. Ah, uh, there's a burning hand scroll. Too bad I can't use a scroll. I don't suppose Ferret can either. No well, thanks for the thought. What's this? You know, that goblin leader must be around here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Activate the shield. Eat the apple. So why not? Oh, he's bad. Yeah. Now if I can kill this guy before he kills that. Oh, got him that time. Now he's down. Is that activated or did not activate? And he's dead. Ferret's near death. I wonder if he'll hopefully get back up. Can I knock down the wolf? I'm gonna turn power attack off. Okay, now let's try it. Knockdown, yeah. Let's see. Where's my knockdown attack? Yeah, it's 13 plus 4. Okay, they're both dead. Ferret, I hope you're not dead. Mark Blatt's Jirno. Ha, stupid humans, not... No... Oh, spelling is... <laughs> Who does raiding? We take cows and chickens is during night when lazy pelskins are asleep. <laughs> Good all gone. Can't wait till... Big blonde man with sword and some other pelskin. Curse those dark elves. They drive us from homes and forests. Now we must live in old smelly holes. So that must... Oh, a short sword plus one. So they, uh, I guess these drow are also coming for these... Uh, these goblies. Have we been in that room? There's a whole bunch of treasure. Fire arrow! Thank you! Now if I only had a bow... Oh, crap! Don't step on the trap! Yeah, see, here's... I like that the henchmen at least... One good thing is they just automatically disarm traps and stuff. So at least there's that. I just thought the system they had in... Bioware, or the Baldur's Gate was a little easier. I gave you a little... Like, I don't think I can... There's this small shield, but... What's that? Magic wand. You know, I do... I did pick up a potion of lore. Let's see if that'll do the trick here. Is 
one of stinking cloud, and then I have a. What's the other thing? Shield. Small shield plus one. Probably not going to be better than my. No. Yeah, probably not. Still not going to be better than what I got. Well, I do have a. Some fire arrows, but I don't think I can just stab him with that. Oh, I wonder if Ferret. Does Ferret have a bow? Let's see, does he? If he's got a bow, I can give him the arrows. Where's inventory? <laughs> no. no. Of course not. If I only had a bow. Well, I'm not even sure that troll is still there. But if he's still there, I could run out of here. <laughs> you know what I'll do? I'm just going to save it here. Let's see if that troll is still alive. That's a ward. If that troll is still alive. I can get a bow from town, come back, and kill him. We're dead. Let's see, where was that? Oh, what's this? That's kind of. I guess I can't use that. Let's see. Maybe the troll... He was up here anyway. Let's see if he's still here. He regenerated. Or uh, respawned, I guess you could say. There. There's the troll! Goblin, goblin, goblin. I don't see the troll, but there's more goblins to kill. Now that guy has a bow. <laughs> kill him and take his bow. Of course, these games being what they are, it wouldn't surprise me if that troll was just no more. You know, maybe that fest or whoever that was at the, at the gate killed him. I can go with that. That's a way to feel better about this. <laughs> He's getting sneak attack. Get him, get him, get him, get him. This one must be a little bit slippery. Might have to turn off power attack. Nope, got him. Where are you going, ferret? Don't take that wolf on by yourself. news is the troll is not here <laughs> bad news is I wanted to kill him yeah ferret I'm guessing you're not liking me too much <laughs> well I want to charge in now uh, name like ferret you think he'd be a little more circumspect Wait, wasn't the troll in this area? I think I was in the wrong place. Yeah, good lord, man. I saved it before I ran down here, so... I can just reload. Come on, troll. Be there, troll. Come on, troll. Pretty sure the troll was like very southern part of this map. And he was like here. All right, sadly, he's gone. Here. 
Well, let that be a lesson to you. Play a different class. <laughs> There's probably a mod that would let you use the torch to burn him. It's just amazing to me, though, that... I mean, I have a torch. Just would not let me torch that troll. Alright, let's go turn this in, see what kind of rewards we get. And then I think we'll call it a day. Let's see what I can get out of here. Right. Ah! The Aurora engine, folks. <laughs> okay, get out of there. Yeah, I'm gonna have a dream nightmare tonight about that troll. This you didn't care to me. I'm back. Well met. You know, let's deal with the stupid vibrant skeleton. Who do we need to turn this quest into? Return to Kolnar. I think he was at the farm, correct? Go, go, go. Should ding me up. Let's see what happens when I turn this in. I should get the next leg of the quest. Farms. Rito Farm. Ohani Farm. I think it was the Ohani Farm, right? Ohane, maybe? Let's turn that. Get her turned in. Get her down. That's the great thing about a role playing game. You get that feeling of being productive. <laughs> stuff done and again <laughs> so so terrible go on that one then oh it's not time to talk it's time to go upstairs Yes, good, 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 Kulnar. Hello. Have his head. By the Earth Mother, he's one ugly quitter. Here's the gold I promised. You've earned every coin. Now, fifteen hundred XP. Yeah, so there you go, folks. I guess this is probably about as good of a spot. To... Probably about as good of a spot to stop as anywhere. But you know, troll aside. <laughs> Putting aside the whole issue of the troll. Really liking this module so far. You know, it's it's good old uh, good old fashioned questing, you know, we're, we're doing kind of probably building up something involving drow. Everything is, seems to be coming back to that theme. Some mysterious drow that are responsible for the troubles of the town. Now, I would assume after this I wonder, yeah, before we go, one, I want to check one thing. So Elminster's Tower is only for the advanced adventurer. Now, I assume what that means is you probably have to be a certain level before you can do that quest. So let's see, that would be the next step. Otherwise, I'd need to go find some other stuff to kill or some little errands to run or something to try to uh, you know get to the uh, get to the point let's see to the help need someone to guard me from the point of shadows didn't seem to do the I'll not be able to assist you in fighting Neither will you be able to... I'm ready let's go okay so there we go here's the next thing to do and is help uh, a reset here all right so let's uh, wrap it up here though I don't want to spoil the whole thing for you I mean you can't really argue with free. 
it's just a question of uh, is it worth your time or not? I think so. I'm actually having, probably having as much fun with this troll aside as <laughs> was the original campaign, uh, if not more. You know, there's plenty of stuff to do. It's a good, I like the, the compactness of that starting zone. Of course, it's just kind of fun. Any excuse to kind of get back into this old fashioned uh, Neverwinter Nights engine. You know, and I mean old fashioned in a good way. You know, you can slip into this pretty easy. You got all the problems that you've always had with your Aurora engine. Uh, but they have definitely made some enhancements that make it a little more fun to play. Uh, I could tell this, you know, Luke Skull put a lot of work into this. It feels uh, well crafted, it feels polished. Um, you know, do put a. <laughs> do something about the troll <laughs> if that's possible. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, this is good stuff. You're having a lot of fun, just so I'm like right back into it. Like, oh, let's go. What, what's next? What's next? What's the next quest? I mean, it, it's hard to even stop. Uh, to stop it here, I just want to keep it keep it going. But uh, definitely check this out. It would be uh, I'm definitely going to continue on. I just don't want to spoil the whole thing for you in case you want some surprises. But I think it's, it's well worth it. Uh, if you like the video, of course you know support me. But also if you like this module, uh, don't don't forget to support Luke. Uh, he does have his Patreon page there, and you can drop a few bucks, you know, throw a few dollars this way. I'm sure he would appreciate that. Maybe buy his novel. Check that out. But anyway, I'm going to stop it here. Hope you enjoyed this. And see you next time. And that's all for this 10 days episode. <laughs> Hope to see you guys on a 10 day uh, with a new episode. My next uh, episode uh, will hopefully be an interview. I'm closing in on Ken and Roberta Williams, of course, uh, authors of the a fantastic uh, quest, uh, uh, King's Quest series, a bunch of other stuff, a Sierra. I mean, I'm sure you know who Ken and Roberta Williams are, but, you know, I've been wanting to get him on the show for a long time. We've been kind of juggling, trying to find a date and, uh, you know, work out the details, but hopefully that'll all be resolved. I'm going to have him on the show, have a great chat. I don't know if it'll be both or Ken uh, you know, at this point, but, you know, whatever it is, I'm sure it will be very uh, exciting. Um, uh, so first of all, thank you very, very, very much for keeping this show on the air. And there would be no, no Matt Chat at all without you uh, folks stepping up to the plate through the Patreon page or through PayPal. Uh, help me keep this show in the air, keeping the episodes coming. I mean, putting a spotlight on things like Siege of Shadowdale, which, you know, it, it had a few issues. Oh, by the way, that troll, <laughs> you know, yeah, sure, I got, uh, shortly after I did the video, uh, I did a quick search for mods looking for uh, Torch as a weapon. And of course, first thing that pops up, there is a mod called Torch as a Weapon. So you might want to download that <laughs> if you want to play uh, this expansion or this uh, module uh, as a non-spell caster class. But, but anyway, just going to show you how many uh, mods. I mean, there's so many mods for Neverwinter Nights. It's really incredible. But uh, anyway, I lost my train of thought. I think I was thanking you. Yes, thank you for your support of the show. <laughs> Remember... Uh, if for whatever reason you have been watching all these years and still haven't made that commitment, look, it's it's time to do it. It only takes a couple minutes. It's no big deal. You're not even going to notice it. You know, go to that uh, page, Patreon page, a couple of minutes, set up an account, you know, a couple bucks. Uh, that's all I ask. You know, you're not, I'm not expecting you just to put in like $50 here, folks. <laughs> you know, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you think the show is worth. Uh, the main thing for me is just knowing that you appreciate the show. You want to support this. You want to keep the Matt Chat chatting. Yeah. Now, so thanks, everybody, who's done that. And, uh, uh, yeah. All right. What about that news from that cave? <laughs> Oh, well, what have we got? Uh, Miko Selva. You can always count on Miko for some interesting tidbits. Uh, threw this at me, The Chosen's Way. Uh, so this is a effort to recreate Fallout 2 using new Vegas tech. Uh, so it looks pretty good. You know, I guess this program's been in development for a while. They say that the uh, idea here is striving to recreate it as faithfully as possible, but intended to recreate the cut content found in Fallout 2 Restoration Project, along with some of their own sort of original contributions. And I guess this was coming along at a good clip, but then, believe it or not, the developer's parent's house in Irpin, I-R-P-I-N, not sure how to pronounce that, uh, was destroyed by a missile. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's, that's terrible. 
uh, for them. It's also got to be, somebody pointed this out on the Discord channel, I think it might have been, and I forget who it was, maybe Tired Gamer Dad, somebody, <clears throat> but they said that was about as good, as, an, as good of an excuse as they've ever heard uh, for a developer uh, taking a while to make a game. You know, it was, it was a production delay. You know, I think that's kind of the understatement of the year, but anyway, uh, the game looks really cool, and hopefully they'll be able to get this finished up. Be uh, nice to look at that in a future video. That's called, again, The Chosen's Way. And let's see, Richard Simmons writes in about this. Classic D&D adventure games from Spelljammer, Dragonlance, and more return after more than 20 years. This is our friend Sneg, S-N-E-G, not to be confused with Smeg, which is from Red Dwarf, one of the best shows ever. But anyway, this is Sneg. So the Snagheads are a boutique publisher of long-lost titles. Uh, let's see what all they got here. Fantasy Empires, Dragon Strike, Death Keep, Heroes of the Lance, Dragons of Flame, War of the Lance, and Shadow Sorcerer. So some of those games you've probably heard of. Um, some of them I kind of find more here's historical curiosities, I suppose, than <laughs> something I'd want to sit down and spend a lot of time with. You know, I've heard mixed things about these. I've actually heard probably more... Out of this list, the one that kind of intrigues me the most is Shadow Sorcerer. Uh, just because when, as I was reading, I remember back in the day when I was doing my research for Dungeons and Desktops, a couple of the reviews I read said that was kind of an under, kind of got lost in the shadow or kind of got lost in the mix. You know, didn't get its uh, fair share of attention. It actually was a pretty good game. Uh, I don't know much more about it than that, uh, but it might be worth looking into. You know, if you want to see a Matt Chats on any, any of those other ones, it'll be easy enough to do that. I've always been a little bit intrigued by the Spelljammer one. What else have they got there? Yeah, yeah but anyway, keep an eye on that. It's not released yet, uh, but they say it'll be released sometime in March, so <laughs> I guess that means the next couple of days or the next few weeks. All right, then lastly, uh, you know that I'm a big fan of Myst, one of my, my favorite adventure games. I like that graphical adventure game genre almost as much as I do role-playing games. Uh, also like Doom, first-person shooters. So what somebody has done, Stephen J. Nass and Peter Henningsen have created Mist, the first-person shooter. And this thing is hilarious. <laughs> you know, you should definitely check it out. And also read the comments. You know, for once, uh, you might actually get some uh, some joy from reading the comments. I think people get, get it. <laughs> they kind of chime in. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Mist, the FPS. All right, so Good friend Shane Stacks, he was saying, man, why, you know, what's up with these L segments? I want to see more L segments. Come on. What the L, Matt? So here we go. Um, I was always look for interesting beers that have some, I like to have a connection to the show or just, just stuff that looks cool. Uh, so I found this one. I don't know if you'll be able to, see, how well you'll be able to see this, but it's a Miami Vice. I think you might be able to see that. Uh themed IPA. It's called the Voodoo Vice IPA out of New Belgium Voodoo Ranger Series. And let's see. I don't know if there's much information on the can. Alcohol 7.1% by volume. So, you know, somewhere in the, a little bit on the high end, I guess, for alcoholic content, but not too bad. And these guys, of course, out of Fort Collins, Colorado, and Asheville, North Carolina, New Belgium Brewing. You know, they do a lot of good ales. I've never been disappointed with the uh, New Belgium. But anyway, this one looked kind of neat. Uh, so let's get it open and see what it's all about. All right, so here we go with the Voodoo Vice IPA for New Belgium. I poured some on the glass here, too, so you can uh, see the color on that. Very light. You know, lots of, uh, <clears throat> lots of bubbles, lots of action there. <clears throat> you know, if I said this before, I'm, I'm sure, but uh, some people frown... You know, snub a beer in a can, they, they always go for the, the bottles. And, you know, I understand that to a certain extent, but I got to say the technology on these things has gotten to the point where you know, I don't really see any difference. I can't detect any, any difference whatsoever, you know, if it's done properly. And, and plus, uh, cans are a lot more convenient and cheaper to deal with. They're recyclable. And you know, there's really no reason not to, not to like cans, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, let's give this a taste. I have been smelling it, and... You know, it smells really good. It's a very citrusy aroma, kind of a lemon uh, zest. You know, if you like the, maybe like an orange zest. Very citrusy, very fruity. That really stands out, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be reflected in the taste as well as the aroma. Uh, but you know, it smells good. You know, that's half the battle. Let's taste it. 
Ah, so this is definitely, uh, I'd call this probably more refreshing. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have a heavy alcohol taste or anything like that. Uh, for an IPA, you know, sometimes those can be really bitter uh, by design. You know, that's, that's kind of what you're going for. Uh, this one's uh, a little bitter. It's, I would say, probably more, more citrusy than bitter. I'll give it another taste here. You know, it's a good thickness, too. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it tastes just kind of like something you'd want to sip on, a, you know, like a hot summer afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I wouldn't say this is like my, my favorite beer by any means, but if you're looking for something to, a little bit easier to drink, perhaps, uh, maybe you like that 7% alcohol. You know, that, that's still like 2%, maybe 2 or 3% more than your typical uh, macro brew, but you, I don't taste any alcohol at all in this. Yeah, try it one more time. Yeah, it's kind of a, maybe a little bit of peach, but what I really notice is the, the sort of like an orange uh, taste, tangerine, a little bit of a lemon, a little bit of a, a little bit of bitterness on the back of that sort of lemon flavor. Now, all in all, though, really a really solid choice. Not sure what it's got to do with Miami, <laughs> Miami Vice, but uh, yeah, I guess you have to have some kind of theme, right? Hmm. Yeah, so what would I, you know, I don't know what I would give this. It's, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, uh, evaluate it. If you like something citrusy with a little bit of bitterness, uh, without a lot of alcohol taste, something kind of lighter, uh, a bit on the refreshing side, you know, something you could, again, a uh, hot summer day comes to mind, coming in from a hard day's work, you want to <laughs> relax, you know. Uh, this would be a pretty good choice. You know, a lot of the IPAs tend to have that sort of extremely hoppy flavor. This one, really to me, tastes more like a, uh, you know, like a blue moon, uh, something along those lines. Uh, so it's it's a little bit of a little bit of confusion there, I think, uh, depending on what you expect out of an IPA. You know, you might like something a little bit different. Uh, anyway, I'm going to probably go three out of five. I think drinking horns on this, uh, Voodoo Ice IPA. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Just uh, you know, <laughs> probably not my first choice, but you know, three out of five ain't bad. So let's wrap it up with a quote, and I was looking for quotes by Elminster, uh, you know, the mage in all these games. And, uh, this is Ed Greenwood's uh, creation, of course, a book called Elminster, The Making of a Mage is where this quote comes from. It's a really nice quote. Short and sweet goes something like this. Life has no meaning but what we give it. I wish a few more of you would give it a little. <laughs> so ponder on that and see you next time. Sir, do we get the win this time?